Hi, my name is Colin Skipperwing Bird, and welcome to Skipperwing Draws a Thing, where I, you know, draw a thing, or multiple things, as the case may be. Today's subject, part four in my four-part Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, speed paint series. Today's subject, Donatello, the smart one. Donnie's in a weird case for me because, according to lots of people who know me, they think that he's my favorite. And they'd be wrong if they haven't already seen my Michelangelo video. I like Donnie, but smart guy, or rather just intelligence in and of itself, isn't a personality trait. That's a characteristic, but it doesn't say anything about the character. You can be smart and energetic, like... I guess the 10th Doctor from Doctor Who, or you can be smart and stoic, like, uh, well, I guess the 12th Doctor from Doctor Who. You can be a smart and be a jerk, like uh, Rick from Rick and Morty, or you can be smart but friendly, like uh, Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Being smart in and of itself isn't a personality. And that kind of explains why Donatello gets the most variance when it comes to personality of all the other turtles. I mean, in the movie series, he didn't really have a personality so much as he was the wise guy who bounced off of Michelangelo. In the 2K3 series, he was kind of laid back, but he had an edge to him. And now in the 2012 series, when he's voiced by Rob Paulson, he's high-strung and neurotic. And they're not incompatible with each other, but... It's so varied because, again, intelligence in and of itself isn't a personality. So, and also, because Donnie's personality varies so wildly, um, he doesn't drive plots as much as Leo, Raph, or even Michelangelo do. He's not likely to do something stupid like, uh, like uh, Michelangelo would do. He's not impulsive like Raphael is, and because he's not the leader, he's more passive, he doesn't push things like Leonardo does. So, yeah, but because he doesn't he doesn't have that sort of aggressive personality the others do, it makes him a really nice person to hang around, and it's, he's the kind of person that you'd like to hang out with in real life, even if he's not entirely the character that you'd want to be leading your cartoon. So, between all four turtles, um, Donnie sits between uh, Leo and Raph for me. I like him, but I don't love him. So, with Donnie, as far as process goes, because I realize I haven't I spent most of the time talking about his personality, he, mostly I'm going through the motions on Donatello, which is unfortunate. And that's because I've had three other characters to practice and get all my nuances down. And going through the motions is kind of a negative phrase, but in here it works, mostly because Donnie has a radically different pose, so it's not like I'm just drawing the same turtle over and over again and it means that I've quote unquote perfected my steps that I needed to get through as for coloring Donnie I wanted them to have a sort of pale complexion compared to the other turtles it really doesn't think make much sense when you think about it because none of them see much daylight anyway they're all stuck in the sewers during the day and then they go out at night but I wanted to imply that Donnie doesn't get as much physical activity as his brothers do. He trains when he needs to, or when there's a required sparring session, but otherwise you find him in his lab. Much the same way that you find Michelangelo in front of the TV. So, I went with a lighter green. And I was kind of worried that it wouldn't, it would look very neon. But I think the lighting helped fix that. As for why everything fills in with a dark color first, well, sometimes when the background and the color I'm trying to fill in are highly similar, like the pale green and the light gray, then I miss spots because I'm not really, I can't really differentiate which when one is popping out and when the other isn't. So what I do is I fill, I fill the color, the spot in with a highly contrasting color, like the dark brown. And then once all the spots are in and I'm guaranteed that all my fills are pro properly aligned, then I swap the colors out for the one that's actually supposed to be there. And on that note, that's it. That's all four turtles. You can check out the um, links in the annotations. And this was a lot of fun to do. If you guys have any other ideas for series that you'd like to hand me, see me tackle, like, I don't know, Mario Brothers, Sonic the Hedgehog, 
Okay, that's it. Then, um, just leave a note in the comments. This was fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And that's it for today's pick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment about what you'd like to see me draw next. If you're new, please subscribe for more content. This is Colin Skipperwing Birds signing out, and I'll catch you peeps later.